What's going on everybody? We are checking out Wand Project again. The first time we checked it out, I don't think I really grasped all of the different things that was happening and did pretty poorly there. So I want to revisit it just to give it another look and maybe do a little bit better and see more of the game that way. So let's jump in again and take a second look at this game. There's a lot of really, really cool things going on. So I'm not mad that we're jumping back in. And even in the demo, we got the Mackie character here who is the tomboy girl, I guess. And she starts with a combo of Sonic spells. So she can enhance one or both of them, plus some powerful lightning strikes. So maybe less ranged focus than the Yumi character. I'm not sure, but let's, we might as well try her out. And we're going to try the lightning rod, I guess. Idle movement pain. How is it idle movement and pain at the same time? Sonic, electric, ice, no fire. No ice. Okay, so this has ice spells, but we don't have fire spells like we would in this one. Let's try it out. Um, right, so there's this meta progression stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go through all of this right now. So we're just going to go in with the normal version of it. Shibuya Karasin, let's do it. I thought I would never give me a mission Hiro-san. Why? Do we need all this text? I guess we, we haven't seen her profile pic yet, so we're just going to go through some of the text. Now's your time. Yeah, I can feel it. Demons. Okay, let's go. She does have two spells immediately. So there's a mine I think we're planting. Yep. It's literally a mine. Doesn't explode though. It's just, oh my goodness. Oh wait, do I have to activate number one? Or is it just super slow? I think it's just super slow. My number one cast. Or do I have to press something? I don't know what's going on. Let me see what the description is of this spell. What happened? There's so many of them. They keep coming. Focus on getting essence. The blue crystals? Yes. So it's like a level up. You're such a nerd. <laughs> I knew we were in a game. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna skip the dialogue. I don't think I like it. Wow! Okay, so we have Sonic Arrow. On travel, 20 units. Okay, maybe that's why I wasn't... Wait, oh, cast when idle. And then this one is cast with movement. On travel 20 units, it does a burn. Okay, so if it travels 20 units, it does a burn. That's interesting. They switched around the sides for the two different things that we do in the shop. So the merge used to be on the right hand side and the shopping used to be on the left hand side. That's interesting. I wonder why they decided to do that. Uh, I honestly don't want to do idle and then this one does it with movement. It doesn't make sense to do both we have a pain cast with pain level three that's kind of crazy i'm gonna re-roll so that i can try to get um another activation thing cast with idle too nope do we go idle then oh it doesn't make sense with the sonic trap though i guess we could maybe do something where we cast the sonic trap after we do maybe like a sonic arrow or something it has to travel sonic arrow sounds like it would travel but then we have to rearrange everything oh god raging storm in here okay um 10 bucks i could i guess i could do an arrow with the can I turn you? Okay, that's fine. Do I just switch this to cast when idle? At least for now, or may that might be a waste of money. Cast with movement, there you go. So is there a way I can instead do the sonic arrow first? Oh no, it just points to that. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more money to do what I want. Actually, I can do one of these. So cast with movement, turn it around, and we do the sonic arrow first, 
and then we need some kind of modifier that would point in the right direction for us. I mean, we could do an ice volley. 20% <laughs> chance to do it on hit. Ice volley into a sonic trap? Not enough essence. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we're, we're just missing. Uh, can I sell you? For 32, that's enough. Let's do an ice volley, why not? Okay, so we have a big chain going here. I don't know if that's going to cast a lot, to be honest, because of the percentage and then the traveling is required for the Sonic Trap, but we might as well try it. Oh, wait. Did I replace the wrong one? I might have sold my cast with movement and kept my cast with idle thing. I did. That's terrible. That's my better spell, I think. Or is it? I don't know. Oh god. Not in the game today. Not in the game today. Definitely made some mistakes. Oh ho 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 ho! The cast when idle spell is way better. Okay, so that's cast when idle. Yeah, I, I, I replaced the wrong one. I, I just totally screwed that up. Move seven units. Cast with movement. How come this cast with movement is 24 units? Is it because I have so many spells? 22, 20. No, it's just like way harder to cast. So cast one idle, we sell. Cast with movement, seven units. Not enough essence. Oh God. Sell the Sonic Trap. <laughs> I need to do it with movement. What? I still don't have enough? 160? Ugh. F. Yeah, maybe. Hey, good to see you again, Squall. <laughs> I I am going to be playing Shiren again. <laughs> I, I, I did stay up playing it later than I should have been. For sure. Um... Okay, we need this cast with movement. Oh, I, I'm not using this weekend. I guess I can do that. And then now we have the cast with movement. Sonic arrow is going to be... Okay, so it increases as we put it with a spell. So cast, cost, spell, plus 20%. Is that 20%? But it was at 7 before, and now it's at 14. So I'm not sure if I understand why it increases so much. Let me see the info. Seven units, move seven units, and then it's 14. Why? Move seven plus seven, is it? Where's the other seven coming from? Info, please? Someone tell me. All right, I guess it is what it is. I Seven units was too good to be true, let's be real. Shoot your stuff. Where's the second attack? How does that one look? Oh, wait, it's like the blue multiple arrow? Oh, wait, both of them are sonic arrow and then one has the uh, the blue arrows attached to it. So every once in a while it shoots once it hits an enemy. Okay, got it. It has like a 20% chance to trigger every time it hits an enemy. From what I know. Okay. Nope. Please stop. How come I feel like we didn't get a lot of money there? I don't think we did. We got like 90. Oh, 149, not bad. So yeah, Sonic Arrow we have on both and it's, this one casts additional things on travel, which I wonder if that would be good, but enemies are usually closer to me, it seems. On hit 12% for Chain Lightning. Do we try it? Might as well. And which way do we wanna go? We wanna keep going straight if possible. That's not what it's offering. So I guess we, we take it anyways. 59, it's probably not enough to buy anything. Everything's at least 80 from the looks of it. Is it not traveling the distance it needs to to do the second chain? Oh God. I'm chasing the projectile to see if it's gonna cast. So it's a useless modifier on that particular spell, I guess. Yeah, I'm not seeing that lightning strike. That's too bad. 
That really sucks. So I guess in a way I want to replace that sonic arrow that's in my top left hand corner because it's not Unless I want to keep it as like a single spell, I guess, and keep just um, enhancing the one spell. But I, I want it to chain. That's the fun part. On travel 20 units. Yeah, it's not doing it. We have a Sonic Arrow on hit 25%. That's good. It's the wrong shape, though. It's not pointing the right way. Although we can maybe try to rig things up so that it does fit into this whole thing. Let's try that out. So if I do you and I turn you... And then I Sonic Arrow, zip, and it has to go straight into a Chain Lightning. <laughs> and then the burn can be at the end of it. That's fine. We can do a chill. We do a little chill over here. And then that can also go into deal damage, eight damage. It has to be from the Ice Volley. Sure, let's try it out. Cast with pain, pain when idle, okay. So we have a Sonic Arrow over here that we can sell if we need the cash or something, but hopefully we've upgraded a little bit. Okay, I'll take two shots for no reason. Oh my goodness. So we have an Ice Volley. We have the Lightning. We're doing Lightning, Ice, and also we are at H HP. No, no, no! Oh, I'm actually really surprised I'm not dead. Shoot the blue guy. Ah, oh, I died. I don't even know where that spider thing came from. Mackie doesn't lose. Load the game, she's crazy. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's, let's do another run as Yumi again. Maybe a little bit more of my play style, the more plain looking board over here. Still don't have my footing, so I am going to just use the beginner character. <laughs> Shooting fireballs. Yeah, the whole, um... The whole spells having specific requirements for activating the next spell. I feel like the requirements are quite light, but light in the terms that it's like kind of tough to activate a ton of spells, but maybe they, they purposely made it that way because I'm used to games where if you have it in there, it's gonna, it's gonna work somehow. But this is like, the flaming fireball actually has a really high percentage compared to the other spells we're using, but still. Um, I was expecting this game to have guaranteed casting when I first looked at this board thing in, in some example images. And um, I was surprised. On kill, 100% it will do something. That's kind of cool. Is this an AoE? No, it's just like the single lightning strike. On hit, 60%. Do you hit multiple things? No, it's just one person. Fire breath on kill, it will do something as well. This one's AOE, I think. Size, yeah, it has a size. Uh, I can't attach it without moving everything. I moved anything anyways. It was actually in the middle before. I just assumed I would be going, uh, building towards the bottom. I don't know why I did that. So we can do, if we have a blue chip that turns, we can do weekend, add damage three. So is that like a armor break? Deal additional damage during the duration. Yep, sure is. And we should go with another spell, probably. Flaming Ball again on hit. 80% Fire Breath normal. Hmm. I'm just going to roll with this and see what we get next time. Yeah, we're seeing some Fire Breath. Whoa, whoa. Let's see if the Fire Breath is likely the thing to kill things because if so if it's killing a lot of enemies we can attach a spell to it behind it or next in the chain and know that it will cast consistently because the fire breath is actually killing things um 
Yeah, the thing about chaining in this game, I'm like a little bit disappointed that it's hard to activate a lot of spells at the same time within the same chain because I wanted to see how crazy those chain effects can be, but I can see how it would be super overpowered in this particular game. Um, the enemies don't have that much health, they just like kind of spawn very frequently and attack speed is a real problem in this game. I'm, I'm starting to find out here. Cast with essence, you gather 20 essence, then you shoot it. I only got around 100 that time, so I feel like that's a really bad idea. Idle time is obviously a bad idea. Uh, we're gonna reroll. Cast when idle, cast with essence. They gave me the two same ones at the top. One more reroll. Or did I not hit it? Cast with essence, idle number two. No, the price went up, so it definitely did do something. Yeah, I'm not gonna do either of those because I don't want to um, be idle or rely on collecting essence. I'm gonna attach another spell over here and just start the wave. Let's see if that thing is cast after the fire breath hits. Actually, it has to be after the fire breath kills. Oh, it did. I think it shot two projectiles there too. Dang it. Kill something. I'm trying to see the effect. Is it? How does it choose where to aim the secondary fireball? I assume it's going to aim at another enemy, but it hasn't hit any enemies, I don't think yet. Excuse me. Oh wait, those are their fireballs. Is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't love what I'm seeing here. So we have cast when idle again. Why do they hate me? Reroll. Cast when idle one and two. Yay. One more reroll. Did I lock it or something? No, yeah, it's not locked. What the heck? Give me something different. Cast with essence again. Oh my god. I really need to move it, so I guess I'll try it out. Flaming ball, go over here. Cool. Uh, deal damage. Gain essence. Okay, we can start gaining essence too. Should we two, put it on the fire breath? The flaming ball? No, we don't want that chaining with itself. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, a lot of uh, comparisons to Magicraft, I guess. You do have wands as your equipment, and there's that like spell crafting element. I, uh, yeah, I was hoping at the end of last year, I was noticing that there was a lot of these like spell crafting type of roguelikes coming out where you're uh, really building your sequence of how you attack or how you use your magic and I, I think I said in in my top games of the year video I hope that this is a trend because I'm all for it and I think it has become a trend there's a lot of games with this crafting mouse cursor which uh, we are playing after this is also a spell crafting game so yeah, there's, there's a lot of them coming out. I hope, you know, not too many come out that I start getting sick of it because that's what happened with like the Survivors-like formula. I really liked Vampire Survivors and then got hooked on them and then there was way too many of them. It's just like all of these look the same now. But for now, um, you know, I, I'm loving it. So I don't know how much this had cast last time. Triggered 27 out of zero times. What? Triggered 56 slash 46 what does that mean 27 zero is it like the what is the zero one on this current previous oh previous okay so yeah this didn't cast too often 27 times is not very much so we're gonna do a cast with cooldown on this other flaming ball here we can still keep the gain essence because that will give us um money <laughs> i don't have a lot of money Five out of ten. Let's see what this looks like. We're just shooting a bunch of fireballs. Yeah, this game, I I love the way that the wave, like the design during the waves here. I, I like how everything looks. Very cool 
slightly pixelated, shell-shaded type of art style. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it has a very, very interesting design. So I like playing it because of that. And it does have spellcrafting, so I should, on paper, really like it. But I'm having trouble getting good at it, which, you know, <laughs> would be nicer if I was like just able to crush it here and there to have more fun with it, because I like to win, of course. But I'm dying. I'm dying. Yumi, you screwed up. Okay. I know, I suck. I suck. Let's try this again. Get in there. We have to do well. Skip the dialogue, we don't need it. Skip. Back in, back in. I guess a strategy that I think makes a lot of sense because right now, the spells that I can afford are lower tier. They have higher requirements to cast the next spell with whatever requirement is on that current wand as the modifier. So maybe it makes sense not to try to change stuff right now and uh, work your way towards like mid game with multiple cast instead of multiple in the same chain. I'm thinking that maybe that's the way to go. It's cheaper to build that way too, uh, at least for now. So Lightning Slash, I don't like. It's it's a very close range attack. Fire Breath, turning up this way. I don't know if that's a good idea either, but we're just gonna do it. And now we have a Fire Breath and Fireball. Should I save my money? Probably. Wait a minute, if I go like this, that gives me more options for building. If I want the Fire Breath to do something, do we want to weaken? Maybe. So we spray them with a weekend with a fire breath. And they take more damage from whatever we're going to hit them with next. Uh, kind of sick. I don't think I get to aim anything, do I? No, it's auto aim. Does it have to be auto aim? I, I'm not sure if I saw that setting. Hold on, hold on. Manual aim is here. Manual fire, I don't want really. Uh, resume. Okay, now we're in it. Wait, the fire breath is not firing where I want it to. Fire breath is always in front of me. Ah, dang it. That makes it harder to use, to be absolutely honest with you. <laughs> okay, so. Lightning rays, flaming ball, ha 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 ha. So if we, it has 40% on hit to ch chain to the next thing. I'm already tempted to chain it, but I really shouldn't because I gotta follow the plan. Just gotta follow the plan that I made. Um, everything's running into each other, not great. Do I take this other weekend instead and I keep chaining from there? But what can we do? Cast with Essence. So this is kind of cheap to like just buy up. You know what I mean? We go like that. And I guess we could try casting with Essence. No, I don't want it. Cast with cooldown is obviously good. Do we want even more Fire Breath? We turn it like this. Even more Fire Breath. Actually, Lightning Slash would be kind of cool because it's kind of in the same range as light Fire Breath, but I don't know if we have to aim that. You know what? I'm just going to take the Fire Breath. And then we can take this Weaken that's inactive. So we have two Weaken Fire Breaths. <laughs> same arrangement over here. Okay, let's just start the wave. Okay. Now I'm trying to use the Fire Breath and I'm getting into trouble with my movement pattern. Oh, we can kind of toss the fire breath if we spin a little bit. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a duration. So if we're turning while it's casting, we're actually spinning it in a wider area. But it is scary to turn towards the enemies. <laughs> so I, I personally don't like using the fire breath. Come back here. Wait, I don't need you. Overtime, let's go. 
Spit on them. Spit that fire. Why is it so hard to get these gems? I want to get rich. Um, we could put something over here. A heal, 1%, 15% to trigger. I, I'm assuming that's going to happen. Yeah, okay. 15% chance to happen. Um, do we want to start chaining or do we want to... We could add something over here. A lightning slash with the fireball. Maybe. Sonic arrow from the fireball. I'm going to try lightning slash. Yeah, maybe from the fireball. Because I'm having trouble aiming my fire breath. Let's just try that out. So if they start piling up together, that lightning slash is going to hit them. Okay, I like that. I'm liking it. Maybe I should be having the fire breath off of a fireball. I, I know I had that before, but... I'm just having trouble strategizing when to turn so that I can hit them with the fire breath. <laughs> okay, we, we kind of have a pattern now. We kind of have the pattern now. Ooh! Ooh! Nope! That way was much better than the previous ones. I am happy with that. Wave 4 completed. Easiest one so far. To be completely honest with you. Okay. So I have 508. That's actually a big chunk of change. If I buy this one, move everything, shimmy it down a bit, we can get something else on this fire breath. Another lightning slash. <laughs> That's what it's offering. Um... Not a great shape. Actually, I can go like this. I can go like this. Oh, this has a special thing on it. Swiftness. Movement sp speed plus one. If I have something on there, I guess I get movement speed plus one. Anyways, yeah, I switched that around so that I can now attach something to this other lightning slash if I wanted to. Uh, gain essence every time that lightning slash is done. Or I can just do it on the fire breath. I think I'll do it on the fire breath if it's gain essence. That's working, right? Okay, yeah, it's working. Gain essence three. I didn't even see this waiting here for me. Yikes. Might as well take it like this. And then I'll use this one next time. I can buy this one, um, that space over there. Let's go. Okay, be nice to me. Be nice to me. Give me your gold! Lots of lightning slashes happening. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a lot of projectiles. Get me out of here. Oh, God! Not like this! No! I think it's over. Oh! I thought we were getting in a groove there, too. We were just getting into it. Okay, don't need the dialogue. Save me all of that nonsense. Arachnophobia. Kill spider 200 times. We're going to get a... We only needed to kill one more to get that achievement. Oh, well. Well, one project, I'm, I'm still impressed. I think that it's going to take me a little bit more time. I'll probably play this a little bit off stream and maybe come back to it. If not, I'm definitely putting this on the watch list for myself. It has the right, <laughs> excuse me, the right makings to, um, to be a great game. So yeah, let's uh, get out of there. I'm just checking out the Steam page right now to see if there is a release date. No release date yet, 2024 is what they have down here. So thanks for joining in for one project. Leave a like if you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, that's it for one project for now. We'll be back with more very soon.